anyway, um, <clears throat> welcome again, guys and ladies. I don't know how many people are actually doing this business that are women, but I've met a few. I've met a couple. I don't know why more men gravitate towards this business. It's a real simple business. It's, it doesn't require a lot of strength. Um, I can say it doesn't really require much intelligence. I mean, if it did, I wouldn't be doing the job. I had a real hard time in school. I wasn't the brightest kid in school. I was kind of a class clown. Um, joked around a lot. Um, so let me do an up update on the birds, the little baby birds. Um, here's a little video of the baby birds. They're not doing too much. And this video here... So, I guess, uh, talk to you about vending business. Um, it's a really good job to get into. It's a really good job to have. It's a good, um, you know, once you get past 100, it, it really becomes more enjoyable. It becomes, you know, I don't know, you just get a better, a better vibe. You get a better attitude about it. I do want to let you know one thing, or tell you one thing that happened to me. I was I was taking care of a vending machine the other day, and I opened the machine. I pulled all the canisters out to check inside and make sure everything's working properly, to, and then to get the quarters, of course. And I realized I didn't bring the right um, the right amount of candy. I mean, I didn't have enough for one of the canisters. And in this business, they call them heads. I don't know why. And and talking about heads, uh, some of the people that are in the vending business, in the gumball vending business, they call the canisters a vending machine. So they'll say, like, if you have a two-headed machine or or two canisters uh, working side by side, they'll say they have two vending machines. So it can be misleading how many machines you have working. So I don't really count the canisters. I guess I should, um, because my numbers would go way up when I tell people how many machines I have. This camera is moving all over the place. How's that? A little better. So some of the old timers, as I said, they'll count the, the canisters and they'll say, let's say they have two canisters working, They they say they have two gumball, or they'll say they have two vending machines working. Going back to my story, uh, I was vend uh, servicing a vending machine. I ran out of ran out of candy or something. This camera's all crooked. Sorry about that. That's a little better. Anyway, um, went back to the car to get some more items to put in the machine. Get some more candy to put in the machine. And when I came back to the the store, I couldn't find the keys that I that I unlocked that I unlocked the machine with. I couldn't find the keys. What what that means is someone stole the keys. One of the employees stole the keys, and they probably thought I've got a spare somewhere in the car or something and I'll just go get the spare and lock it up and they'll have a set of keys for that machine. I don't know why they would steal the keys, but um, 
they did. And it really taught me a lesson. It taught me do not leave the keys on the counter or the table that you're working when you go out to the car. Do not leave them. I've got uh, all my vending keys. I've probably, I probably work with about 40 keys. And I don't keep them on a ring. You know, they're all separate, pretty much. And uh, I can show you a little bit more about how I do that in another video. But I keep them all separate, and I take one key or two keys out at a time, and I, I leave the rest in the car. And I'll tell you this, if there's ever a fire in my house, I know a lot of people say, if you know, if there's a fire, what would you grab if you could only grab one thing? Let's say, not including your children or your pets. You know, some people say, oh, my, my dog, my cat. Uh, so let's say all of those are outside. They're not inside the burning building. What would you grab? And a lot of people say my photographs. And I would too. But I think I would probably grab my keys because the keys in, the, in and of themselves are not that important. But the keys... If I lost those keys, I'd have to re-key uh, every single lock. I'd have to put a new lock on every single machine, and that would probably cost me a ton of money. So my keys are very important. Having said that, do not leave your keys on the counter. Take your keys with you. Put them in your pocket. All right, that's going to be about it for today's vlog. Uh, in another video that I'm gonna make. I'm gonna teach you how to get free money. We will talk to you later.